Hello everybody, Wolf from Wolf and Raven Gaming. Uh, decided to try something a little different this time. Found this one kind of by accident. It is called Stories Untold. And it is... Oh, really? It is uh, supposed to be a text-based game. And I know a lot of the people out there nowadays don't remember text-based games. I remember them. They were... Uh, they were what we had at the time, so they were quite interesting. And they went on a lot longer than people think in the form of uh, what we called MUDs, multi-user dimensions, which were some of the first MMOs you would have ever, ever have seen. Uh, four things, supposedly they're all supposed to be connected, so let's start with number one and uh, see where it goes. Got some old technology up there on the starting screen, so... Ah, oh, the terrible old tones! <laughs> You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday house, park the car. It's dark, but it is as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. Okay, look around. Look in glove box. Wow, I can type today. Oh, it's going to be like that, is it? The notice from your dad, it reads, Hi son, hope you enjoyed the break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Got the lines going all over the screen. I think that's funny. Don't see that on LCD TVs. Or at least I haven't found one yet that does. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around to the side of the house. Uh, he said I had to start the generator, so go around back. Oh, fine. Go around house. Go yard. There we go. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look around. Wow, I noticed that right as I hit enter. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Um, use generator. There we go. Go front. You walk back to the front of the house. Use key. 
You insert the key and turn, door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway, it's dark, you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Use switch. You flick the light switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and the living room from here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Well, let's uh, go living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. Nothing here of interest. Go hallway. Back in the hallway. Go kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room. But otherwise it is just a kitchen. Look around. Look door. No idea where the key could be. Okay. Go hallway. <clears throat> Back in the hallway. Uh, set of stairs. Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing into the bathroom. Two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Look. Pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps are happy family. Uh, go bathroom. No, no cupboards to look at. Okay, go hallway. Step back out on the landing. Go sister's room. You walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Wardrobe is empty apart from the pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look. Photographs. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Hmm. Close door. Close wardrobe. Look. Animals. Wow. Look bed. Look toys. Look posters. Look art. Nope, nothing else there. Just posters, okay. Uh, go hallway. Go bedroom. Go your room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Look around. Desk TV, the usual. Turn on TV. No? Fine. Look, gift. Open gift. 
You unwrap the gift excitedly. Inside, you find your old computer, a Futuro 128 Plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic, hopefully still works. Uh, okay, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the keyboard on the screen here is a Futuro 128K. Set up computer. You start plugging various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Look, game. It's a new horror game called The House Abandoned. Hey, that's the game we're playing. Looks ace. Uh, play game. Put the cassette in the computer and press play. Back when you still had to use cassettes before... What the hell? Why is it all dark? TV is still on. Apparently it's storming out. And now the screen is upside down. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. You pull up the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check in the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. That's a little different than last time. You're in the car. You don't want to get out. There is a glove box. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Open glove box. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of the car, 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 get out, get out, get out. Okay. Well, if that's the case, get out. Get out. You forced the warped car door open. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Uh, go yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. The weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Why is it specifying that I have the note in my hand? The note net. Whoa! The note now reads gibberish. Lovely. There's an old generator. Start generator. My lamp just came back on. And the eyes are scratched out of the pictures. There isn't much fuel, but the generator stop uh, starts up. Uh, go front. Go back to the front of the house. Uh, use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Did you guys hear that? You open the door, pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Okay. Read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Uh, use light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The halls are falling apart after years of neglect. Worse, there are stains and trails all over the carpet. 
Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Um, look around. You can't see any alarm, but you can barely think with that noise. Stop. Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Okay, that's not right. Um, turn off alarm. Hey, it worked. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Okay, read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Go living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn, the note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach, this is not a nice place. Since it keeps changing. The note, always changing, now reads, get through this, I don't care if you want to or not. kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are all rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a big red X on it. Read note. The paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing here for there is nothing for you here. Read wall. Oh, that lightning got me. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Look. Carcass? You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Look, door. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yep, must be paint. It feels like the note. Open door. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Uh, go hallway. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. I hear someone coming upstairs. Same but different. The lighting has access to your sister's sister's room. The phone's ringing. You can't focus. The ringing in your ears is too much. Answer phone. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be here. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up phone. Relief. Same but different. Okay, yes. Landing. Access to your sister's room or the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look, pictures. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have all been scored out, like the two in here. Okay. Uh, go bathroom. Go enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered with a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Uh, look, bugs. No. Okay. Uh, go hallway. Step back onto the landing. That 
different. Something is different about them. Of course there's something different about them. Can you tell me? Well, you already know. Uh, go sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Remove boards. No. Okay. Go your room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. 1986. Use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. Re note. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in the room, get in, do it, go. Okay. Look key. I hate this key. I should never have come here. 1986. The lock clicks open. There's writing on the wall now. Oh, 1986 is written on the wall in here now, too. I didn't notice that. Open door. Okay, that's creepy. Go your room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom. It's really weird having hearing the someone walking in behind you. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you have but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on and the clock reads 9999. Yes, it does. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. Hmm. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Look. Computer. Look, person? Rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. Talk, person. You struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness. Your grip on the note tightens further. There is nothing left to do. Oh, back to that. Read note again. The note is reacting. Get in the door. No, I'm already in the door. This is where it has to end. End it. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please stop. Not my fault. It was all my fault. Say it. No. Just say it. No. Well, apparently I have to say it. It was all my fault. The heavy breathing is really distracting. <laughs> Apparently that is the end of the first chapter. That was uh, kind of creepy. So, wow, I don't even know really what to say about that. That was uh, really well done for what it was, I gotta say. So if you want to see more, I will... Uh, probably record a couple more but I probably won't post them unless people actually want to see them until then apparently don't go to family homes alone they uh, can get really creepy apparently or maybe it's don't play old games alone who knows have a good one